I'm here today to show you how to make a triple easel fun fold. Um, I'm a big fan of easel cards, and so when I found one that would make three easels, I thought that would be fun. This one we're going to make using the Penguin Place stamp set and some Penguin, pl uh, Penguin Playmates DSP. But mostly I'm here to teach you the fold, and then we'll do a quick... Uh, a quick speed through with decorating, okay? So in order to make this, you're first going to start with a five and one quarter by eight and a half inch piece of cardstock. And let's use a trimmer here. And the first thing you're going to wanna to do is score at four and one quarter, just like you normally would. All right, the next piece though is just a little bit different. You're going to turn it with the short side across the top of your trimmer, and you're first going to cut at one and three quarters, so I'm gonna place the left side at one and three quarters, and you're gonna cut from the top to that score line that we just made, okay? And then we're going to repeat that again. All right, so I'm just gonna pull this down until I get to the score line right there. And then I'm gonna put the left side of, this, of the cardstock at three and one half inches and repeat that cut, okay? There we go. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to make a template that you'll be able to see as we go along. I'm going to make score lines on these cut pieces. And I'm going to do that using the, uh, the, um, the scoring tool from my Simply Scored. I'm going to continue to use my trimmer. All right, so the way I would recommend doing this is to fold these flaps out of the way and then you're just going to place the top corner in the, the channel and line that intersection up with the channel at the bottom, okay? And then just use your scoring tool to score that diagonal. Now you could use the score tool that is on your paper trimmer, but this is very thick down here, so it makes it a little harder to get a good score there, and you want a good score so that you can fold that easily. All right, then we'll just fold this out of the way, put the center one up, and repeat. So put the top corner in the channel, and this intersection in the channel down here, and then using your score tool, make a score line, okay? And repeat one more time and we'll be ready to roll. So I have placed the top corner in the scoring channel and the uh, this is actually the <clears throat> the score line that we originally made at four and a quarter. Oops. That's all right, won't be a problem. And we'll pull it down like that. All right, and that is all we need. We'll set that out of the way. <clears throat> and then we're going to fold these the other direction and give a good burnish here. <clears throat> and then we're going to fold at those score lines that we just made. All right. And you pretty well, that's about the hardest piece of this whole fold. And that wasn't very hard at all. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and do some decorating just so that you can see how to set the easel up. <clears throat> Sorry, that's where we are right now. Now I used some Penguin Playmate DSP and I will have included with the tutorial this template for you. You're gonna need six triangles. So you start with one and a half inch by four inch pieces and you're just going to cut on the diagonal. Okay, so we'll do that. I've already uh, cut these in the one and a quarter, one and a half by four. So we'll go ahead and cut these just like that. So just put opposite ends into the channel and cut. And you need three that are, that have the triangle going this direction And then you'll need three with the opposite direction. And that really only becomes something you have to worry about very hard if you have paper that is 
directional. So it's got an up and a down or a left and a right, okay? So I'd recommend the first time you do this, do it with DSP like I've used where you don't really, it doesn't really matter so much, okay? And then we'll do it with my second DSP, which is just a coordinating um, design from the same paper pack. And we'll make us a few triangles here. And I cut a few more pieces than I needed, you know, just in case, in case I messed up. Not that that ever happens, but sometimes. Okay, so there we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna lay these out just to be sure I have the triangles that I needed before I get too far down and then look like a Dorcas when I get ready to start adhering. Okay, so far so good. Whew. Looking good, all right. And then we'll go there and go here and one more. Okay, so we're doing good. I'm just going to adhere all of those pieces of uh, DSP to their respective uh, cardstock panels using some liquid glue. You can use whatever adhesive you like, but I like the liquid glue because it gives me a second to, you know, move it around to get it lined up. Okay. Now the next thing that we're going to do once I have done this is we're going to create our inside and that's going to let us set up the easel stops. And the easel stops, you want to do the inside and the e easel stops before you decorate the front of your card. Because that way you'll be able to see how the easels are setting up and standing up so that you can see where to place your decorations. And that will make more sense in just a minute than it does right at this instant in time as you are watching this. All right. Goodness gracious. You know I'm going to run out of liquid glue before I get done here. But that's all right. I'm going to persevere because I can make this work. I am certain that this will work. All right. And we only have two more. And then we will have a decorated partially decorated triple easel fold. Okay. All right, so there we go. All right. And then as you can see, it's starting to come together. What we're gonna do next is use a piece, I've just got some basic white, and I'm gonna line this up and kind of dry fit it so that we can see, because I want to put a sentiment, but I want the sentiment to be kind of hidden when the card is standing upright. So this is what I mean by a dry fit. I know that my easels are going to go roughly right here. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment. It, it works out to stamp it right in the middle of the, of the uh, panel, which works out good because that's a place I can see real easy. So I'll just stamp my happy birthday sentiment in, in this case, Misty Moonlight, because it coordinates with my DSP. And I'm just going to put it right in the middle of the panel. And then, because it's a wintry card, and because I really, really like these little snowflakes, this is all from the um, Penguin Place set. I'm just going to stamp some, you know, you've probably seen Fresh Frieza Snow. I'm going to stamp some Fresh Frieza Snowflakes right over the top of that. Okay, then we'll adhere this to our Fresh Freesia mat and into the card base. Again, you could use whatever adhesive is uh, most comfortable for you. I just happen to be a fan of liquid glue. But if you're not, Okay, and that's going to fit just like that. Now, you need three easel stops, and I'll show you what I've used here. I um, actually stamped and, and fussy cut three little presents from the Penguin Place set, and I have them right here ready to go. Now, as with any easel stop with any easel card, 
you're going to want it up on dimensionals because it needs to have a little bit of, um, well, dare I say, it needs to have a little dimension because it needs to stop the cards from moving, the easels from moving. Okay, so I'm just going to put a dimensional on the back of each present like that. And they're going to go cleverly. <clears throat> I did some a fresh freesia present, and I did a couple of misty moonlight presents. I'm going to tilt them kind of like that, and I know they're going to roughly go right about there. And this one's kind of going to come down into this bottom corner. So what I recommend is that you just do one at a time, and you're going to... You want your easels to all be kind of the same standy uppiness, right? And this bottom one is kind of your driver because you need this to be down here. Okay, so I would start with that one. Just put it in place with your Stampin' Dimensional, like so. Okay, and then this will just sit. And then your next one is going to come about here. And so... I see where that is, but I'm going to I'm going to pull it in just a little bit so that when your card is open, they're not just like in a straight line like soldiers in a line, okay? They're going to be a little more whimsical cuz this is a whimsical set. Not not a whole lot that is very serious about a group of penguins on a card. So, we're going to put this last one in place. And you can see that the easel is coming together nicely right okay there we go and there's our easel stops and our insides okay so i'm just going to decorate this i've got some things pre-cut and I'm, i want to show you a couple of things the first i'm going to show you is how to make the floating sentiments all right so what i did is i stamped um two sentiments i like you a lot and it's a little, it's like a little except a lot. So I used Tasteful Labels dies to cut the sentiments. And then I cut a second exact of the same die in just basic white. I have a couple of strips of window sheet. They're a half inch wide and I don't even know how long, but long enough. And then I'm going to trim them off to, to work for me. So here's how you make the floating sheet. You take your white back and put some liquid glue on it. This is how to make your floating sentiment. And then I stick the piece of acetate or window sheet, however you'd like to call it, up in the middle of that glue there. Make sure I have a little extra so that I can really be sure that my sentiment stays. And then you just adhere this over the top. Super, super easy. Like that. And make sure that the, the edges line up. All right, I'll show you that again on this littler one, a littler one. Put some liquid glue on here. Stick our window sheet in the center, like so. And then put the sentiment over the top. Boom. Easy and also peasy. There we go. So just kind of squish them together a little bit and make sure you're straight. I mean, it doesn't have to be straight. You could make it crookedy if you wanted, but straight gives you all the options. It leaves you with all the options. Alrighty, so to decorate up, I've made some penguins that I uh, stamped and cut out. And then I used the uh, Whimsy and Wonder stamp set with the, whim the uh, Whimsical Trees dies. And I've got some die-cut trees and some stamped and die-cut trees. And really, I'm just going to kind of set up a scene on my on my easel here. Here's the only... There's really only one thing that you have to think about. When this card is closed, like so, in order for it to go in your envelope, okay, and it will go in your envelope, but you need to be certain that nothing extends over the top or the sides of the of the card base. And that seems like a duh kind of a thing, but anything that you adhere to this top, if you're not careful, like for example, if I adhered this like so, when I lay it down, it extends over the top. 
All right. So you're going to do lots of double checking like that. It, it, I'd love to tell you there's science, but there's no point in science. This is art. So do it as art. And what I do know I want is I want my sentiment on this front easel and I want my second sentiment on the back easel like so. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, trim off part of it because I know that they're, they're quite a bit too long. Okay. And then I'm just going to adhere little, little penguins here and there on the front and the middle, and then I will do the back last, okay? So let's go ahead and, and if you notice, I've got two little guys with blue ties and one person, one penguin person with a scarf, and so I'm gonna put him in the middle, you know, with his, his colored gift. And then I'm just gonna use some liquid glue to adhere these. Now, I'm gonna put this tree here and I mean, this is all, you just put it on however, however makes you happy with only that caveat that it not extend over the top or across the edge of the, um, of the card base. All right, and just trim down that little piece right there. We'll put him like so. Make sure he doesn't go over the edge. Okay, I'm still good. And then we'll put our first little penguin guy. And I'm gonna stick in my sentiment. Where did you go, sentiment? Sentiment, there he is, okay. So we're gonna set it right here like this and I want it to kind of float above. Like, like how did that get there? Because I want that to be, that's kind of part of the fun of this is how did that get there like that? So let it float, baby, let it float. There we go, so that's gonna say I like you a lot. -le. And then I'll put a, a penguin. Now, normally, if you guys have ever watched any of my cards, I would put I would put dimensionals and all sorts of stuff. But I'm not going to do that because this has plenty of dimension. You really don't need to add any extra. And then I'll add a little tree here, like so. And there's my first guy done. And then for my middle, I'm going to move him in a little bit so he's not... He's not quite so, you know, right there, right exactly in the other spot where the other guy is. I'm going to put one of these trees. So really now at this point, I'm really just making a scene, not a making a scene scene like that kind of a scene, but I'm making a scene, a little penguin snow scene like so. And you do kind of want to think about how it's going to look when it's laying down, but it's not a huge thing. Really, this this card shines upright, right? So let's let's just shine him upright like that. Alrighty, and then I'm going to put my little second sentiment. And I want him to go, I'm going to go like that with him. like so and then we'll put our no not him we got I already put glue on this guy okay here we go like so all right you can see it all starting to come together okay so the final place that you need to think about is your very very last panel and remember this is the one where you want to be sure that nothing is going over the top of the card okay so i'm just going to put that tree there like that and then i'm going to stick this tree over here but you can see if i put it like that it's going to go way over the top so i'll just trim the end down trim the little tree trunk down and put it on like so and I'm just going to go ahead and just lay it down so that I know for sure I'm not extending past the top of that top of that panel. Okay? Like that. And then I will put my final penguin on. There we go. Just like that. And that's it, you guys. 
that is what you do to make a triple easel card. It lays down and fits up. Oh, sit up. Remember when you use liquid glue, it's going to be a little, it takes a second. And I apparently did not give it quite long enough, but that's fine. Okay. And there we are. One triple easel card that will fit in your A2 envelope. And when you open up, you discover you had an extra tree, but that's okay. I think we have plenty of decor. All right, guys. I hope you liked it. Uh, there will be a written tutorial, obviously, with all of the card cuts that you'll need. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.